I guess it's kind of fitting that I smashed this thing up and now we're about to head back to where it all started. Well, you shouldn't smash things. I didn't mean to. You I gotta hit a stop rock. being so reckless. I hit a rock. Yeah, well, what did you do that for? Why is, is a rock making you angry? It's an inanimate object. The same reason you hit rocks. Because they're invisible until they hit you. I lost one of the O2H2 gens from the front. Uh, does that mean you lost a bunch of ice? Yep. Yep, it does. Well, that's great. Not a huge amount, but a bit. Mm. Certainly not enough. Uh, a lot less than would have been lost if I'd blown up the tank that's sitting on top of the trailer. Yeah, that, that would get quite uncomfortable. Yes. Are any heading off to the repair depot? Uh, that long eyes guy is still talking about seeing targets. Yeah. I still don't know if he's talking about us or if he's talking about somebody else. I don't. I don't know how to determine that either without giving away us. I mean, I guess he'd have to say something specific about us, <laughs> like how handsome yeah. I am. Right. Oh, we're actually quite near the, um, where we ran into the convoy. Do you want to check out the convoy? We might as well head past it. I wonder if anything's left. Oh, well, you lead the way. I haven't got that GPS active. Uh, it's just slightly to the left of where we're going. Okay. Because we were chased away from the convoy last time we were there, so I can't imagine that we Yeah, I think some of those drones flew over. There's another condenser station up ahead. Oh, yeah? Uh, about 7k's. So not far from the repair station either. Yeah, but more to the east. Uh, are you thinking of deviating or are you thinking of uh, continuing? Well, any fuel we can scavenge would be good. So maybe it's worth swinging over that way and then coming around to the repair station. Oh, there's something still there. Oh yeah. I can replace some of the missing bits on this thing. Whoa. What the? Ah! Okay. Bad choice. Bad choice. Uh, I... Yep, we're the ones noticed. What the? Is that some kind of remote explosive or was it artillery? I thought I saw something flying in. I think that was rocketry or artillery. Alright, I say we bug out, and we bug out quick. Yep. Still think we check out the repair depot, though? It had a lot of fuel. Whoa! Oh no. Please tell me you're okay. Yep, but there was an explosion real close. Something just rolled past. Uh-oh. What, what do I do? What do you mean? Alright, I'm just gonna head for the condenser station. Yep. Going at top speed. Please don't destroy your truck trying to escape them destroying the truck. Well, I mean, my top speed's only 30. <laughs> I did deliberately set it low when I messed with you, when I fixed your wheel what? settings. What? You've been messing with my controls? I fixed your wheel settings ages ago. You asked me to. If I get blown up, it's I'm your blaming fault. You. No. I, I know you're going to blame me. Even if, no matter what, you'll blame me. It's what you do. Oh. Hold on. What? I'm getting a ping for a long eyes over it towards the repair station. Oh. Uh. Do we take that truck off the back of your truck and go in with that rather than risking the dongoose and. I mean, it's not very well armed. No. Although, he might think that that's, like, frightened us off. 
True. Maybe that'll lull him into a false sense of security. When we flank him. Well, especially if he, like, unless he's got perfect, some sort of satellite thing, which it seems unlikely given the tech state. Uh, if we park both of these near that evaporator station, maybe he won't see us coming in the smaller thing. Yeah, we could give it a go, but then we'll be stuck with handguns. Yeah, but we're kind of stuck with them anyway. Like, I don't know. Unless you want to go in in your truck and we use the big cannon on top. Regardless, we need to leave the dongoose somewhere with, that's reasonable to leave it because it's carrying a fairly decent supply of fuel. Oh. Oh. Vehicle refuel station. Oh. Hmm. That seems suspiciously convenient. It does. Um, okay. My vote, and you are free to express your opinion on this. My vote is to leave the Dongoose here. Oh, but it's got a survival kit. can't really leave it. We kind of want to bring it close enough that it, if we get taken down, we can at least get back to it. It was empty anyway. Well, this is going real good. So... Uh-oh. I, I don't know. Have you got a plan? I apparently don't have a plan, because apparently every plan I come up with is wrong. Alright. So we got three options. Yeah. We can take the Dongoose, which doesn't really help us. We can take the small tanker rover, but if it gets blown up, that will reduce our ability to pull the fuel that we need. We could take my truck, but if it gets blown up, we reduce our capability to haul things around. Okay, so I think we take the fuel rover off your truck and then take your truck. And it seems you agree. Your well, truck your truck's less we're likely have to, to get detach this thing whatever we do. So Yeah, and but also your truck is unlikely to get completely destroyed. We're likely to be able to escape in it because it doesn't have any big fuel tanks that'll explode and obliterate the whole thing. Uh, I like your wishful thinking. <laughs> oh. Why do the wheels keep getting stuck? Remember, this is the weird one that keeps... Always seems to get stuck for us. What about that hoppy thing with the suspension? Do one of those. Some of the wheels on this are... Acting like they've got handbrakes on. Uh, you're the wheel master. I don't know what it is with these trucks, but every time we steal one, the handbrakes are just broken. The middle axle is parking brake locked. Maybe I'm insane, but it looked like the back right wheel was turning the wrong way. Oh well, you're off now anyway. Yeah, that there's one there was one wheel that was just wonky. Don't understand it. Alright, I'm ready. Let's let's ride at dawn. <coughs> hey! Don't waste all the bullets! Just making sure they still worked. But you were worried the water would have got into them. You know, maybe. <laughs> I was actually worried some of your crumbs might have gotten into them. What? I don't have any crumbs. Uh huh. It'd be chocolate, if anything. Right. Of course. And that can only make bullets more effective. Did you mark a GPS of where that was? Uh, nope. Uh, shall I mark one just here? Can you see yep. it from here? Yep. Okay. 
I have made a DPS called Vap Station Ish. Uh, Long Eyes is not at the repair station. They're about 300 yeah, meters, 400 closer. meters out. Right, I'm going to serpentine in case of artillery fire. But remember, once we get in, if we get in range so that I can shoot, you kind of need to drive real steady because otherwise I won't hit anything. Yeah, anymore. I know. Probably gonna see us when we come up over this ridge. Oh, yeah, he's camped out on a ridge over there. Yep. I see a silhouette. Yeah, I can't really make him out because it's so bumpy right now. Whoa! What are you wowing? I heard something. Was it that? Yeah. Yeah. It's because I haven't set up the hinge limits. Oh, oh there's yeah. something on the ground down there. What I is that? I can't do anything while you're moving this much. Well, well, what do you want me to do? Just stop? It'll blow us up with an artillery. It's just an unknown signal. I'm just going for it. Okay, slow down, slow down, slow down! I don't know if He's got radar! Got him! I destroyed the radar. Do we want to take we, out his vehicle? Do we want to get it on board? Well, maybe just have a look at it, see if it's got any cargo or anything. Oh, it's got like a full little cockpit in the back here. I don't see like a big artillery gun or anything, but it might have got blown up. No, I think this was just the this was the spotter. This is like the laser pointer. The, my concern is that if they were using targeting from the uh, from this spotter, yeah. they would know the position of the spotter, and if they know we're at the spotter, they would just be able to drop an artillery on us. Alright. Uh, do you want to lower your gate and I'll drive this on? Uh, I think we should probably get to lower ground before we do anything like that. The, but you, you, uh, come back, you're driving towards the thing that you said there was a red marker at. Don't you want yep. me in the gun? I, I don't want to, like, park in front of it on top of a ridge when there's artillery so we can load a car into the truck. Well then... Tell me to leave the car and I'll get in your truck and in the cannon. I don't know, it's fine. Look, this all seems normal. Whoa! Yeah! Ah! There's a dude up there. I'm going on foot. That's my yeah. Oh no. Keep falling in holes. You down. I'm glad you didn't shoot me. Huh. Am I munitions? More organics. More rations. Ooh. Oh. There was he a battery some, component there. Yeah, power cells. I got them. Good. Uh, Alright, uh, should we move together and try and clear this place? Seems a bit I think there's worse more of them. aware since we were last here. Uh, this is dead end. I don't see anyone down in the garage. No. They were clearly um. taking the fuel. Yeah, a bunch They've of fuel the tanks, tanks out of the wall. What's... But hang on, why were they? Oh, do you think the guys that were here were traveling with Long Eyes, the radar? 
person. Could be. It seems like they were sent out to uh, make sure they grabbed all the important stuff from here. Is there any fuel left in these tanks? That one's empty. Uh, 13.5. Okay. 22. And 4.5-ish. Um, Looks like our survival kits are gone. If we... Oh wait, no, there's one here. Oh. The medical components are gone from the survival kit. Yeah. Uh, if we link these together and we could sort of drain all of it into one tank. Or we could build a connector on it and go bring the truck that has a tank on it and just drain them out into that truck. Yeah. Oh. Well, we could just throw them on the back of the, the flatbed. Yeah, but we brought the fuel truck for this yeah. particular purpose. What I think we should do is let's hop back in your truck. We'll go back, collect the dongoose, hope that no one turns up here while we're gone. Um, we'll go collect the dongoose and collect the fuel thing. Right. Oh, a lookout post. What? Just saw a scav lookout post pop up. That might be where the artillery fire was coming from. Huh. Do you have a rough heading? So I missed uh, it. Yeah, it was kind of... It was behind us. I'm not sure the exact heading. Okay, we'll have to just hope we notice it again. Kind of towards the refuel station, but not in exactly the same direction. Well, I'm glad we uh, brought your big truck with the cannon. And I think we could have taken that guy down as quickly without it. That is true. And I took out his, um, his radar first. Hopefully to have knocked out any other communications that might have been sent out. And I think for the sake of that wheel just seems um, to hate us... We'll stick with this being a five-wheeler. I think they sent some drones to check the repair station. Oh, we got lucky to get out of there. Yeah, but they didn't expect us to immediately turn up and immediate like turn up and then immediately leave. How are they gonna respond though? Don't know if we got enough ammo to take down a couple of drones. Maybe we should just head for the vehicle refuel station while they're occupied. I think it's heading this way, so yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Ah, headed this way. Yep. I'm out of here. It's closing fast. Oh boy. Uh, maybe we just want to get some cover then. Uh, swing around to the right into these dunes. Alright, Kavak, stop, stop, stop. What? I need to get into the turret. Oh boy, yep, they're getting close. Whoa! Oh, I think they're dropping bombs. Uh, one of them's not moving. Wait. I'm not sure they were dropping bombs. I think one of them crashed. Well, the other one's coming back around. No, uh, it's still going further away. Hmm. Oh, no, maybe you're right. Maybe it is coming around now. No, it's stayed at 2.6. What the heck is going on? What are they doing? Do you want to drive to where that other one is? Yep. Yep, it is down. Maybe we can get some ammo. I'll stay in this turret. Ooh, if that other, oh, I think the other one might be coming back. Yep. Uh, when it gets close, just make sure you park. Because I know it makes it a static target, but it means I might actually hit. Yep, wait here. 
Alright, uh, you stand the gun, I'll check out the wreck. Yeah, it's, uh, it's well crashed. Wait, it's got a pilot seat on it. Thought it was a drone, though. Yeah. What's it shooting at? Eh? It's shooting at something, but it's outside of our range. Is okay. it shooting at the dongus? Uh, it's in the wrong direction. I can't get a lock on it. There's a lot of thrusters here. Oh. See a drone west, but it's flying away. Yeah. There's no I ammo in the gun. I don't know what's going on. Alright, I'll go grab the dongoose. Did it take any damage? I think it was getting shot at. Are you going to try to pick it up? Figure why not? Probably take out its communications. Yeah, that's probably not a bad idea. I don't see any sign of that other drone. I appear to be having a problem with this drone. What kind of problem? Ah, uh, the kind of problem where it's so heavy I can't lift it up. Wouldn't be that heavy. Actually, it's the kind of problem where one of my hinges isn't working, but all the rest are. Okay. Um, should I grind down all these th little thrusters? Uh... might want some of them. I don't... I'm but not sure what we'd do with them or how we'd carry them. Yeah. It's just, that's some. That's another thing we can't make. Why isn't my crane working? My crane's totally busted. I don't know what's going on. The main hinge isn't this, working. This thing's making a whole lot of noise. Yeah, because there are loose parts in it. Could, it. could it be that it's like just a bunch of phantom forces bugging out the crane? Well, the thing is, it's only the main, like the big hinge. The little hinge is working just fine. Like I can lift this part of it up. Without any problems. But the bigger hinge, which is stronger, can't. Okay, back, I had had a bit of an idea with this clump of thrusters that's in the ground. Ah, oh, the thruster clump. Well, I mean, it's not a clump right now, but I thought we could make it into a clump. No, it's like a thruster ball pit. Yay! Well, that's that's kind of the next thing I was about to mention, which is I what? think you might have some fun trying to do what I'm thinking we can do to get these collected all in one go. Play in the thruster ball pit. Yay! Yes. Kind of. So... To play in the thruster ball pit, but also be productive, let's put all mag right, are you plates... starting to lose my interest? Let's put mag plates on them and try and get them all stuck to each other. Uh... Because then I can pick them up in one go. Uh... And... I thought these ones didn't have an attachment on the sides. They do. Okay. Uh, all right. Wait, don't, they, don't the mag plates need power to attach? Nope. Hmm. They will auto lock. So if you can push those around and get them stuck, I'll keep adding more mag plates on. Hmm. Uh, how do I know if they're stuck? I'll turn blue. Or green. Are they blue at the moment? Uh, those ones are... That one's green, the other one's blue. 
Yeah, so one of them's locked to something. Hmm. Maybe I'll have to knock these with the crane a bit. But yeah, can you get any of them to move at all? Hmm, not really. Hmm. Okay, so maybe hmm. my idea wasn't isn't going to be as quick as I Wait. thought it was. Wait, maybe... We could do that, but do it in a different way. Oh, were wait, no, we need the crane. Were you think? Well, actually, no. Uh, were you thinking, like, put a put a little armor block up here and then flick it down? No, or I was thinking you put... You put a roller on the end of the crane and surround it with mag blocks. <laughs> and then dip it into the pit. <laughs> like, like, like chocolate getting, like, some biscuit getting coated in chocolate yeah like a chocolate fondue fountain yeah yeah but with um <laughs> thrusters instead of chocolate i mean you could put it onto the you could put the mag plates onto the drone that i've got the remnants of the drone we could do that oh just boy. stick a whole bunch of mag plates to it and we just dip down and collect as many as we can and then put another mm. set on and do it again and just double dip triple dip quadruple dip as many dips as we need uh, can you lower it down a bit more uh, I could. Probably. I fixed the crane too, the weirdness that was going on before with the hinge not working. It had somehow gone past its limits and it was upset about it. So it couldn't work out how to get back to normal. Yeah, so what I was thinking of doing was taking auto lock off and then manually locking once I'm pushed down onto as many as you think I can. Because that way we won't just get the first one and then explode it when we're trying to push, push further down. I like this. I like it when we both actually contribute to an idea. I mean, I'm not sure I'd go so far as to call this an idea. A notion? Does that, that sound better to you? Mm. What would you call it then? I'd call this a poorly thought out experiment. Oh. Are we ready to go? Uh, I guess so. So if you walk around to where the Gatling gun is, you can get access okay. to the control panel. Oh! Sorry. Probably... Uh, yep. Nope, that's too far. Yep, that's about right. <clears throat> uh, you might want to... lift that front hinge up a bit. That way? Yep. A bit more. Yep, that should be good. Uh oh. Yep, yep, that's looking almost perfect. That's as far as I can go. Uh, uh it's hard to Oh, what Oof. Is that looking like it's... Is it it's looking detecting on some good. of them ready to lock? Um, it is. It's not really sort of flat, though. Alright, what do I need to do? Uh, you need to move that hinge up more. Oh, yep, that's looking pretty good. Alright, do you want to try and lock there and we'll see how many we pick up? Alright, lift her up. How many did I get? One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, that's not bad. About yeah. half of them. Do you want to try it again? I realize they're saying long arms ready to shoot, but do you want to add a neck another row of... Like I was thinking we put mag plates now onto those thrusters and go down again. Oh boy, those will be pretty wonky. That might be better though. Maybe. At least that was my thinking. One of them dropped off when I tried to... The landing here. That was annoying.
Now these ones are not going to be able to be... These one are auto lock, so you might end up having to get in there with build vision to fix some of them up. Right, we grabbed something. Uh, it's another f three or four, looks like. Can you kick any into it? Oh, yeah, I think you just knocked one off. I think uh, I might also no. be locked to the ground. Can't really get close to it. I think I'm locked to the ground. Can you see which one's locking me to the ground? I think so. Oops. Not that one. Whoa! Take her up! Oh, I'm locked no. to something again. Uh, mm. Okay, maybe this part of the plan wasn't so well thought through. First part worked. This part, not so much. Up. Up, up, up. Are we... How many are left behind? Uh, we got two more, so there's... Still so many there's to leave. eight left on the ground. I just don't think I can get... I don't think I can do much better. Oh, unless... Unless... We drop these on top of your truck. Like, put a magbed plate on your truck and uh. we just drop these on there. As a quick offload. Or even on the back, on the top of my truck. Um, yeah, okay, that's, rather than do that, shouldn't you just build, build a mag plate and just put it on, attach the drone via, like, the battery side? Oh, as in switch which side I'm grabbing it from? Uh, no, you should just be able to rotate it. Oh, I see what you mean. Oh, you could even put a... You could put a big mag plate on the end of this hydrogen tank. You were thinking this, weren't you? I mean, thinking is a strong word. There you go, that'll grab anything. Yeah, I'm not sure I want to grab with that, though, because if we blow up that hydrogen tank, we've lost a hydrogen tank. Yeah. What do you mean, eh? I mean, probably two hydrogen tanks, since that hydrogen tank is sitting on top of another hydrogen tank. Yeah. Why don't you add some mag plates to that? Since this was kind of your idea. Wait, what? Well, I didn't think you were going for more. You didn't? Oh, I thought you were going to attach it to the trailer now. No, no, no. He's going back for more. Uh, arg. What? All right. Hold it still. Join us for the next 20 episodes as we try to maneuver <laughs> 20 small thrusters into place using giant cranes. Uh, if you just drop down, you might pick up some more. Oh, yep. Yeah, you got another one. Yeah, I think that's probably going to be it. You've got... you got four. Okay. And they're sort of all around the perimeter. Whoa! That wasn't meant to happen like that. Up. Gotta go up. So we're, we what, left three behind? Yep. Okay, that'll do. I think this is this is enough, uh, enough. Enough sticky pistons for one day. Yeah. Certainly a method. Uh, what are you planning on doing with it now? Driving. Just trying to get it centered. Okay. Uh, so, are we heading back 
are we heading back to the repair depot to try and get the fuel there, or should we head back to our base first and then come back here again? Yeah, I think heading back to base is probably... To, uh, oh! There is one thing. Mm -hmm. This marker for this vehicle refuel station did come up over this way. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, Alright, yeah, 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 that's what we're heading towards. Do you think this refuel station will be like that one we found ages ago? That, um, shooted us a lot? Don't know. Might want to go check out some of these, um, claims, because some of the claims we've been to have had stuff at them, some of them haven't. So it might be worth checking them out. Uh, where are you thinking you'll park I think, up? I think I'll park up right here. How close are you? Uh, 700. Yeah, I see Gonzalez claim over there. Yeah, that's what made me think we could possibly try and um, check one of them out after this. Let's set the pod. Oh, watch out. Yep. Uh, I'm going to leave behind my tools. Just in case I get shot up. Alright, can see the top of the turbines. Can see an antenna. Ooh, we might be able to get quite close before it can get an angle on us. If we sneak, sneak a little bit left of where you are. Yep, I see it. I can see a turret. Oh, yeah. Don't know where I'm hitting, though. I'm trying to read the bullet drop. Oh, that was a hit. I don't think I'm getting any hits. Getting hits. So you're okay. aiming for the turret that you can see on the left, are you? Yeah. And you just hit the armor in front of it. That, that one of those shots. Oh yeah, you hit it then. Oh, it's on fire. We got that one. Can you see any more? Yeah, there's another one where I'm shooting. It's subtle though. Oh, I just destroyed something. I think I just destroyed another block. Oh, it's on fire too. Okay, that's two of them down. Oh! Oh! Uh, serpentine! Serpentine! Keep it distracted. I'm guessing this thing's no longer manned, otherwise someone would be coming in to tell us off for what we're doing. Yep, it's done. Alright, moving in. It's almost like we're getting better at fighting things, Capac. Hmm. <laughs> we managed to destroy three turrets without dying. I think we've secured this. Oh. 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 Oh, oh, oh. Huh? Oh, juicy. Two hydrogen tanks. Both full. Okay. Are we going to try to extricate them or are we going to try to empty them? Uh, I'm going to say extricate, but possibly after we've taken all the stuff we've currently got back to our base. And dumped it and then we return here. Because I, I think I've already got way too much stuff loaded up. Also, I didn't come here with a... Um, thingo. Is it working? Oh yeah, there we go. Can I grab a lift? <laughs> well, hmm. 
Shouldn't we get the little fuel truck off the back and at least fill that up now? Probably, but I don't want to have to walk back up the hill, so you may as well drive me up there. Thank you for the lift, sir. Well, this was quite the boon. And now that we've got that refuel station, we've probably got enough fuel to get out of this joint. But there are a couple of things we still need, and we're going to have to keep looking for them. So there's all that and plenty more to come, and we will see you then.